For many Vietnamese, pho is much more than just noodle soup. From street vendors to luxurious restaurants, pho has become the national dish of Vietnam. The history of pho is saturated in tradition and echoes the history of Vietnam and its culture. From the early hours, pho stone set up shop along the sidewalks. The boiling broth is poured over the bed of soft rice noodle and sliced meat and topped with handful of chopped herbs and chives. While the northern province of Namdan is believed to be the origin of pho, few would dispute that its spiritual home is Kanoi. It was Kanoi's intersection of historical and cultural factors that made pho popular. The history of pho begins at the end of the 19th century, at the peak of French colonialism. French demand led to greater availability of beef in Vietnam. This return produced a surplus of beef bones, which Vietnamese and Chinese vendors used to deepen and perfect the flavor of Nam Dinh broth. Over the years, pho gained traction in Hanoi. It involved from a noodle soup called sao dou, a simple dish made with slices of wild buffalo meat cooked in broth with rice vermicelli, into a delicate and balanced creation. Buffalo meat was swapped with beef, round rice noodles were added, the flavor of the broth was refined, and the classic Kanoi pho was perfected. The most important of in pho is star anise, but the onions or shallots that at first grew on peel give a characteristic fragrance of pho. Fresh ginger provides the broth with a subtle spicy taste. Adding cinnamon and cardamom varies by region and personal taste. The most important thing is the creation of the perfect stock through a very long cooking process, 8 to 14 hours, with a right mix of beef. The broth should remain clear, which can only be achieved with proper care. Due to its versatility and popularity, Vietnamese eat for any time of the day, almost every day. However, there is an ongoing discussion among Vietnamese over which for taste is better, the northern or southern version. It only takes one look at the bowl of pho to recognize its origin. Primarily, northern pho has an intense and delicate flavor due to its clear and simple broth. Besides the beef bone, anise, cloves, and cinnamon harmonize into one subtle undertone flavor. Hanoians prefer eating pho thai, red beef, pho served with thinly sliced red beef cooked quickly in the hot broth. Condiments such as green onions, thinly sliced white onion, chopped cilantro, or mint are put on top rather than served alongside. In southern Vietnam, with its abundant produce, herbs and other ingredients are used liberally in cooking. The southern pho is often served more shy and bold, with lots of garnish, mint, cilantro, rice paddy herbs, salted herbs, bean sprouts, lime, chili, basil, and hardened sauce for instance. The broth is even prepared with other ingredients such as chicken or chive. While Hanoians prefer a dish with broad-based soup, Saigonese is much likelier to prefer a well self seasoned one. Using hoisin sauce, Thai basil, veggies, lime, green onions, mint, cilantro, and bean sprouts, and the optional chili or sriracha sauce to enrich the broth flavor. If you are looking for a lighter version of pho, go for pho gà. Pho with chicken. This dish is said to have emerged in 1930s due to a government ban on slaughtering cows. Over the years, it was finally recognized as one of Vietnam's specialties. Nowadays, many eatery shop houses serve pho gà exclusively. Scenes of diner queuing for a bowl of pho have become familiar in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. Many visitors to the city are surprised to see this with their own eyes. Depending on the bowl size and the kind of meat you like to eat with fur, its price can range from around 30,000 to 55,000 Vietnamese dong. Fur is considered a national dish for the Vietnamese. 
to some extent, it is held as a reflection of the heritage and daily life of the people of Vietnam. So let's take the opportunity to enjoy pho when you come to Vietnam.